Hello there. So we are familiar with our text to image services and there are plenty of them from Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, and uh, Dream Fusion, and so on. So right here is a little bit different one. This is when a text can go to the 3D model. And the first tries, when we look, they're kind of a little bit um, simple, not very complex, but so is the original, the 2D, if you remember. So right here, I want to show you a few services and one that actually you can try right now by yourself, which is very awesome. So right here, it's one from the Google Dreamfusion 3D. And this is abstract papers. It's accessible on github.io. I will provide all the links for you so you can go and check by yourself. And uh, this is closet. You cannot join. It's only just preview what the render that was done. Some papers allowed to preview, download the 3D models to observe how the models is created and all the stuff. But you cannot actually create your model. The another service that is claimed to come up, it's called Lumen AI. And this is supposed to be from images or other created 3D models. You can go and just preload some search, some images. You can also try to go to wait list. And so far, I don't know anybody who put it on a wait list. I actually got to try this. If you, for some reason, was lucky enough to try Imagine 3D and it was accepted in alpha or beta, just says, hey, don't need it spoiled, all this non-disclosure stuff, but just in curiosity if anybody joined. Uh, for me, sometimes join this wait list, it is scammy because I saw several services that apply here, apply here for beta, but all what they do is email phishing. So they'll just collect a bunch of emails, bunch of referral, other emails and spam you afterwards without providing any service. So I'm very skeptical about all of this waiting list, what they said. So this is two services and plenty more if you look around. However, here's the another uh, cool text to 3D and it's coin point E. So it's available for you to download it code on a open on a GitHub and you can actually install it. This is all code available. Um, with applied how usage you can use it your collab notepad, notebooks and other things to use it or install on your local, your local machine on this case. But if you don't want to do any of this, um, you can go to hugging faces Again, link will provide and you can actually try this and it's what we're going to do right now. Try see how it's work. Remember, this is very primitive model, but it is always same like originally when text to image original provided it was teeny tiny, you know, thumbnails and people put this stuff. But now you can do actually quite sophisticated images. So I think this is may go the same way. I know. I know it's already some people complaining and says, hey, you're stealing R, just wait till 3D come and all the 3D modelers will be start crying and screaming as well. But you know what? It is um, the way it's going technology. So let's go ahead right here. I'll try, I type cube and let's go submit. And right here we can see it's processing. I'm lucky enough, nobody else use it yet. And I bet as soon when probably the video go up, some of you try it. So if you have a little bit wait time, please be patient with this because it depends how it's using this one. Okay, right here it's process for our cube. And there is our model. Notice it is interesting how it's processed because it does creating those points in the space for 3, 3D. Okay, and there's our cube. Um, not solid walls, it just created, but let's go maybe Ruby cubic. Let's go try Rubik. Cubic. I think this one. There you go. So we'll try this. See how this come up. This should be provided with multicolors. If you know now, we'll try see. Hey, can it provide different coloring in 3D as well? Okay, and there you go. Look on this. This actually provide with some colorizations, which is kind of awesome. Of course, if we go a little bit more far away, look on a polygons or actually this is like blobs but it is it's very interesting way to create your um, 3d model so let's go ahead and try maybe um tree okay again i'm doing right now very simple object okay very basic object well with our tri cube now the tree will have a branch so it's a little bit longer and you can see it's have a little bit more from 34 so it's a little bit um, take a longer time. 
And here's our tree. Actually, it does look, if we put far away, look on this, it does look like a tree 3D. Of course, if we come closer, you can see right here, it's our sampling, but it is in three dimensional, which is kind of nice. You can see those points. All what you need to do in the future, it's probably assign some polygons to this, you know, to select between um, dots and it should work. Okay, let's go ahead and try something more complex, okay? How about um, streets of cyber city? Okay, that will be very complex. We'll see how it come up with this, what is decide to do it. Okay, so right here done. And I think it just create a building maybe. Yeah, it's look like it just create one single building, which is kind of not full complex scenery, but it's way better than I expected. I think at this moment it cannot create a big scenery, so it's just create a single object. It's uh, going this way, but it is very impressive at this time. And I know it's look like it just a points, but imagine this is 3D positional points, so you can assign create polygons between them to create. I think this is kind of fun, interesting tools. I don't see a really practical use at this time, at this point, but it's interesting the way the technology going and you can preview again you have it's multiple different ways you can try with lumen um apply there because this seems like they have it very interesting polygons creating um plenty of the um, also texturing applied to this like right here this is supposed to create in 3d or you can try um see if it's about dream fusion how well this one perform in the future that is interesting as well and as I said before, go ahead and play around with this um, tool. You can try to install on your local machine or support the developers. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, it's given some interesting information for you. If you like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share the video. Thank you. Have a great day.